we are actually going to look at factorization. Now, before we actually launch into factorization, we need to recall the distributive law. The distributive law from memory, you should know that when we multiply h into a plus b, we have a h plus b h. Similarly, if we have h into a minus b, you've got a h minus b h which means each term in the bracket is multiplied by the term outside the bracket. So this expands into this. All right. Now, let's have a look at some examples. Recall 2 into x plus 5. If we do the distributive law, we have 2x plus 10. Similarly, if we have x into x plus 4, if we do the distributive law, is x squared plus 4x. Now, distributive law for this ex algebraic expression is 2x squared plus 6x because it's 2x times plus 3. Let's go back and have a look at this form. If we expand this into this, and if you write the expression backwards, we should know that this is equal to that, the expanded form, and this is the factorized form. The expanded form and the factorized form. H in this case is actually known as the, as the highest common factor, or HCF. How do we actually do this from here to here? This is the procedure that you need to learn. First, we need to identify the highest common factor or HCF in the algebraic expression. So let's take this example 2x plus 10. What is the highest common factor? In this case, the highest common factor is 2. Because 2x can be divided by 2, 10 can be divided by 2. So what we do is put a bracket in this algebraic expression and then we take the highest common factor in front of the back bracket and divide each term in the expression by the highest common factor. So if we take 2 out, we divide 2x by 2 and divide 10 by 2 and therefore we have 2 into x plus 5. So from the expanded form, we can actually get it in and factorize it into this format. Now we can actually check the answer by expanding or the distributive law. So 2x plus 2 times 5 is 10. Our the answer is correct. Using this procedure, let's have a look at some example. First example is 4x plus 12. Now carefully examine the terms in here. What actually is the highest common factor? Now, looking at this, we know that 4x can be divided by 4. 12 can be divided by 4. So, the highest common factor in this case is actually 4. So, if we take the 4 out, we have 4x divided by 4 plus 12 divided by 4. And therefore, we have 4 into x plus 3. So if you expand this, 4x plus 3 equals to 4x plus 12. What about question 2? 20 minus 10c. What actually is the highest common factor? Let's look at 10c. 10c can be divided by 10. 20 can be divided by 10. So the highest common factor in this case is actually 10. So if we take 10 out, we've got 20 divided by 10 minus 10c divided by 10. Therefore, we've got 10 into 2 minus c. Right. I actually will not expand it because looking at this, straight away you can see that 10 times 2 gives you 20 
10 times minus C is minus 10C. Now, what about this case? 2x squared plus x squared. Notice that both terms have actually one has one has x squared, the other one has x. So we know that one of the highest common factor would be x. And here, 2 can be divided by 2 and 8 can be divided by 2 as well. So the highest common factor in this case is 2x. Taking the 2x out, we have 2x squared divided by 2x plus 8x divided by 2x. Now, we have 2x outside the bracket. 2x squared divided by 2x is actually x plus 8x divided by 2x, which is 4. This time, I will expand it. Let's see. 2x x plus 4 equals to 2x times x is 2x squared plus 2x times 4 is it is 8x. So therefore, you can see that by expanding this, we get the same answer as that. The next bit, I want you to pause the video for 5 minutes. Look at these three examples. First, identify the highest common factor, then factorize the expressions. Right. I'm sure you have some time to actually look at this and think about what the highest common factor is and then factorize it. So we'll start off with this one. 5r minus 40r squared. We know both terms. One has r, the other one has r squared. So r is one of the common factor. What about 5 and 40? 5 can be divided by 5. 40 can be divided by 5 as well. So, the highest common factor in this case is actually 5R. So, if we take 5R outside the bracket, we've got 5R divided by 5R minus 40, R squared divided by 5R. Therefore, we have 5R, 5R divided by 5R, that's 1, 40 divided by 5, is 8 and r squared divided by r is r. So it is 1 minus 8 r squared. Let's check. 5r into 1 minus 8 r. 5r times 1 is 5r. 5r times 8 r is 5 times 8 is 40 r squared. Because it's negative here, it has to be negative there. Negative 8 times 5. So you've got minus 40r squared. The next one, minus 4x minus 2. Right. The common factor in this case could be either 2 or minus 2. All right. Okay. Let's do it both way. If we use 2, this is actually equals to 2 minus... 4x over 2 minus 2 over 2. Therefore, that equals to 2 into minus 2x minus 1. Right. What if we use minus 2 as the highest common denominator? We therefore have minus 4x minus 2 equals to minus 2. Minus 4x divided by minus 2 minus 2 divided by minus 2. What we have then is minus 2, minus 4x divided by minus 2 is 2x, minus 2 divided by minus 2 plus 1. So effectively, we have taken the minus sign out. That is actually the same answer as that. So it doesn't really matter if you use 2 or minus 2 as the highest common factor. Let's try number 3. You've got minus 9x squared plus 6x. Again, both terms, one has x squared, the other one has x. So x is one of the common factor. 9 and 6, both can be divided by 3. Therefore, the highest common factor is actually 3x. We have 3x, then 
minus 9x squared divided by 3x plus 6x divided by 3x. In this case, we have 3x. 9 divided by 3 is 3. x squared divided by x is x. So it's minus 3x plus 6x divided by 3x, 2. That is the answer. So, with all these examples, I hope I've shown you how to factorize um, algebraic expression.